Every day we come in and we take a look at our consumption. We actually have it on the screen and we monitor our consumption. We monitor our water consumption every day. We monitor our gas consumption every day and we look for, we look for fluctuations that might present a problem because anything that gets out of line like that and if it trends up it's going to cost a lot of money not only that you're going to get service calls you're going to get patients that's not happy you got rooms that isn't cool or hot so these are these are all the things that we look at and it also helps us maintain our cost in 2008 we spent three hundred and forty thousand dollars on natural gas just one of our utilities and last year we spent a hundred and six thousand so that's that's twice nearly twice the savings I love to show off what this system is doing. It's something that I've always wanted to do and is get a system that was conformed personally to this building and to the system because we have 13 different air handlers and every one of them is different. Every one of them, the character is different. So the, the, the controls have to be programmed just for that particular one. This is our automation system and we do, like I said, we monitor our incoming power we monitor, monitor our KWA, our KW consumption. We look at the air, each air handler, and on each one of these, we've come in and, and modified all the controls. We've brought in extra sensors other than the standard sensors and programmed them back into the system so that we can get a little bit better control. Uh, this particular air handler has to run on 100% outside air, 65% outside air. So we have to have special controls so that when the humidifier kicks on, it brings in a bunch of extra heat. We can modulate our, air, our outside air dampers. Um, all of these points are mapped back. We can look at them with our iPad. This is a uh, this is how we monitor our reheat system. Our reheat system is how we heat and cool the hospital. Heat the hospital. What happens is, instead of having a fixed set point, we monitor the outside air temperature. And as the outside air temperature goes up, obviously we need less heat, so that water temperature goes down. This here, one of the cool things about monitoring your outside power is when we lose power, we can have it send a signal to all the major piece of equipment to shut down, give it a stop signal, so when the power comes so when the power comes back on, when the generators come up, you're not slamming your system with every big huge piece of equipment and then cause an equipment failure, have a generator fail. So now once we get the power back up, we can go individually choose which one we want to start. Okay. That way we can control how much load is on our generators. That's just another way of taking this system a little bit further and using it. But the thing I'm really happy about is, is we've reduced our patient service calls to our patients by 85%. I can look through the records I looked through there the other day and I just looked on one particular day would be eight calls, nine calls, you know, for HVAC, you know, and, and staff calls. I mean, we've had, we've had calls for the same areas for several years. So we just went and said, we're changing our culture. Everything that's wrong, we're gonna fix it right down to the root cause. In particular, our lobby where the security sits at the front desk, got doors open and closed all the time. They freeze to death winter, okay? They don't do that anymore. We found a problem, we fixed it.